getting the Ford ready for a redneck gas tank system while well, slave labor does a good job. Slave labor? Well, unpaid is slave labor. We got our oil pail. That's the fuel return line, power source. General Motors 305 Chevy fuel pump is going to be the heart pumping all the liquid to this uh, Ford Pig. Fuel filter, some holes drilled in the top that seal pretty good, and the gas cap opening. See, it all fits in so that the uh, fuel pump touches the bottom when you put the lid on, so it can get the last drop. Good to the last drop, eh? Good to the last drop. So now all I do is snap it together and attach my homemade fuel lines, which I'm going to do next. Why don't you just poke right in? Now, Found on road rusting. Is that what we should call these things? Look at the bumper. Found on road dead. It's almost dead. There's the floor. This is for when you're crossing the border and you want to get your Mexican, Mexican aliens to crawl out the back when they pull you over and uh, you look suspicious. And well ventilated trunk lid. Well, let's see if this thing's going to run. I got some gas. Got my fuel line hooked up to the back seat. They run through the front seat. They run through the heater box. They come out the air intake for the ventilation system. And they've been wired up in a shortened way right across the engine over the ignition coil. And best of all, we got corn bars on the front. For you Americans, you might call them bush bars, but out in Canada, they're corn bars. Compliments of Pat. Oh, shit. This is the redneck trunk tie down. Ooh. Priming the fuel system. Yep. Yeah. Hey, stand back. Watch the engine. See if it's in the fire. Just glue it out. Pump, pump. Stand back. Came off, did it? Those things are hard to kill. Yeah. You get the fuel pump wires in the right direction, Paul? What's going on? Paul, did you hook up the wires right for the fuel pump? No, the well, let's just see if we got fuel pressure on the back. Frantic. Frantic. Second try. Better. Better battery, so let's check the fuel pressure again. Okay. Don't have a fuel pump. That would piss me off because I paid 60 bucks for that oh thing. Oh my god. No, 30 bucks. What the fuck? Okay, uh, take the other one off. Same as my uh, Pontiac. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, just a sec. Um, you... Try number three. Take three, scene one. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I think that's burning oil because we had it tipped on its side. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a belt. Um, hold on a second, dude. Um, 
Okay, in the center, so you had it laying on its side for a while. Yeah. yeah. She's a runner. A little more dramatic too, you know. <laughs> Typical piece of Ford crap. Nothing like a good GM. Yeah, I have no love for Ford. That nasty noise was the uh, fan shroud hitting the fan. Uh, it took a Chevy guy to figure this out and stand on the top of the fan shroud and push her down. Uh, the extra weight uh, around my midriff uh, helps to do that a little bit. It doesn't sound as good as the Chevy, even though I got it all covered off. Yeah, the uh, Chevy definitely sounds better. Yeah. Yeah. Oil burner. No power windows. Typical Ford, everything breaks down. Piece of shit Ford. Grand Marquis, built just south of here in St. Thomas, Ontario. Let's go play chicken with this thing. That sounds a little better. Chewing up corn. Candid camera. Too young. How the brakes feel? Uh, like freaking applesauce. Right across the field? Sure. Let's cut right across the field. Wussy driver. Brakes. No brakes. And no brakes. Oh shit. Oh, oh my god. There's a ditch there. Yeah, I think we just went through a ditch. <laughs> Something's sparking and smoking here. Battery was arcing up here. 